been quite an interesting week, a week where we've had a lot of things happening in the social media spaces and also in the mainstream media spaces. And we are here to unpack each and everything for you in a nice way, in also a very bad way, by the mm. way. I'm your host, CEO Charles Otieno, alongside the most beautiful crew ever and team ever, ever. Mm -hmm. Dr. C here, helping you to keep it real. And uh, it's going to be good, right? It was oh, yeah. fantastic. Wanja. <laughs> Wanja, <laughs> helping you to keep it real, and it's going to get hot. Mm -hmm. And I am Maria Nyambane Waweru, I'm an author of Marriage is a Scam. Yes, you're going to understand why in a few. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm Simon! <laughs> <laughs> Simon. I, I interrupt you. Yes, yes please. The wine, I forgot to say. Oh, you, oh you forgot to mention. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, say yes, I'm Simon. Yes, I'm Simon. Yes, I'm selling it to you. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, cheers to you. Cheers, Simon. Cheers, Maria. Yeah. Cool yeah. Samantha, what? By the way, Simon. I was told the glasses are not supposed to click. No, they are supposed, They're to, supposed click. to click. Just, in fact, just mm. enough click so that, you know, if it's overfilled, my, my drink goes into that and goes into that. This issue, it comes from the French. Mm. During the time of Louis, King Louis, mm -hmm. people used to poison each other a lot. So oh. if my wine spills into you, yours and you this one spills into that, mm. then that's you know you have not poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, you, and you maintain eye contact while at it. Yes. yes. Interesting. So yeah. you're saying something. So, Simon, mm -hmm. I want you to kick it off yes. with that interesting story. Hey, K -K -K -K. let me tell you what's <laughs> going on. Now, <laughs> In today's society, yes. where the boy child is neglected, in a dry spell <laughs> social media outrage era in which Ouch. men are castigated, yes. castrated publicly, yes. there comes a hero. Who Her is name? <laughs> Who is this hero? Sandy. <laughs> oh, Sandy, with a gentle voice, lying down, she says, Hi, Kababa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, grown men melt. Young boys, they peer themselves with happiness. But indeed, Sandy says some things. The, you see, she brings out an aspect in which many women out here are lacking. And we must be said. Some things must be, be said. said. Women. Women. You are horrible. <laughs> at Except actually, Sandy. at actually <laughs> complimenting men appeasing not men the king you are with you actually take advice from women who want your king <laughs> and yet you yourself you cannot even appreciate him you say he, you, you say that um you know ladies saying you know they want so much like the man cannot um they say that men don't know their women but women you don't even know your men if you were to tell you to buy your man your, your man's favorite jersey based on the player that he likes, you don't know. But him is supposed to know your favorite color, you know what kind your of hair, hair nonsense, hair, you platelets and all that nonsense that you put on your face. But you don't appease us. You don't even know how to make sure that indeed recognize <laughs> that feminine energy. It can make a man jump over the hills just for you. Maria, am I right? Okay, <laughs> yeah, listen, let, I have to start. Yes. First, let me just start. First of all, Simon, yes. Yes. go find yourself a nice young lady. Yeah. Huh? And then you reach a point, you realize all these nicely dressed men out there actually dressed by women. They are wives, number one. Number two, where yes. I come from, we say, Omuami Wanju. What is that? It means my king. This is how oh. we call our husbands. Yes. Yeah. So if anybody thinks they're going to call our husbands kababa, you will even look at who is kababa. We are kings. Oh, that's and the good. women, we call omwami wanji, and then we kneel down slowly and serve him. Mm. Chicken. Yes. Chicken. That's yeah, chicken. And he gets the best part of and the chicken. And while you will not have eaten that thing. Which one you said they should not eat? Imondo. Imondo. Yes. <laughs> Imondo. Uh, ndumbu. Imondo, Ndumbu, and... Uh, the back. Isn't that the, the entire children? chicken? Mm. 
Yes, we even give the entire chicken to our husbands who are our king. Preach. Omwami wanje, my king. Amen. What is kababa? Uh, kababa you, Mamakwa, used to sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, 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 You're uh, 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 Drizzle, drizzle. Here's something I will not allow. Drizzle, you will drizzle. Not, you will not take the kababa name out of, for my own appeasement. <laughs> we will take the name and we will claim the name. Sandy, you are doing a good, uh, which call it, honor the to society. Lord, the Lord exactly. Lord. What do you say? Well, it's giving, <laughs> you know that kababa word is giving soft tea. Mm -hmm. It's 38 giving, years old, uh, still at uh, home. Uh, that that is yeah. Still at home. <laughs> a man who is not able to handle societal pressures. A man uh, who will cry uh, because of yeah. food. A man who you will tell, <laughs> a man who you will tell, babe, I'm hungry. He also tells you, I'm also hungry. A man who will tell, I need a dress. He tells me, me too. A man who will tell, oh, my, um, the child is sick. The man will ask you, hey, Sakutadu. It's giving Zimbabwe. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's giving Zimbabwe. <laughs> it's not giving, but, but for me, really. You know, why are you calling Zimbabwe? Yes. Surely. Yeah, ni, ni, ni. What is with it with Zimbabwe? <laughs> because Zimbabwe is such a knockoff. <laughs> There's that meme where they, they sort of went and then, like, in the TikTok, they describe dingy or and, and nice places. It's giving Zimbabwe. Mm. So it's like they were making a video to contrast maybe Cape Town or Kualafu, Zimbabwe and how it has old buildings. So they were saying it's giving Zimbabwe like it's not giving, you know. So now men, when you're called Kababa and then after they are what? Yes. Say your thing. Say <laughs> well, add even that. No. Madame, add even that. Go ahead. Let, let me say something, Kababa. This is the point now. Say that like better. Say it better. Uh -uh. Say Kababa ah. slowly. Kababa. Good job. <laughs> good job. That's how you're supposed to say it. That's good. The first thing I'll ask is how much will I be paid for calling you that? And how much will you be paid? I'm not doing anything for free. Let me be honest. <laughs> Look at these women. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if I'm going to see you to that extent. Yeah. At least I'm seeing you to that extent. Yes. Yes. Hey, money must come out too. I agree just, with you. Let me tell you something. It's just like, you see out here people are saying that. Let me quote a Bible. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 31 verse 5. Women should A, B, C, D, women should... But from verse 1, they don't read. Men should do this. They should treat their wives, right? They yeah. should not drink. No one read from verse 1 to verse 5. From verse 5, now they are telling us how to be. Proverbs 35. From woman. Proverbs 31. 31. Proverbs, 31. Proverbs, 31. Proverbs, 31. Proverbs 31, woman. I want to be the song of Solomon's woman, eh? Why? You bath her with oil, eh? Yes. Her bosoms are glowing. Yes. Yes. Only the things you say about me huh? are up there. So... Before I call you Kababa, mm -hmm. hey, you've earned it. Hey. My pockets are full. The way I'm walking in these streets, mm -hmm. I'm just entering expensive perfume shops and I'm driving the car one, that way. Kababa, all the time. What Anything you want. What I'm you want ring tone. I'm not See, lying. Okay, so wait, just for you. See you. I want to ask you a question. Even, even you've seen, even there's also another scenario where there was an older lady who even called even one of our ka, 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 ka boy to is saying ah, he's a simple, stupid peasant because he didn't know how to play golf. Yes. See you. What would you say yeah. about this story? You see, it's, it's very interesting that... Um, where the society has led us to. <laughs> the, pressures, the pressures of <laughs> life can't play golf. and the issues of how people are relating. Interpersonal relationship and, of course, uh, romantic involvement. Mm -hmm. In short, what has happened is that men have been taken for a, for a ride for a long time. Even when we call you Muami Wanje. No, for a long time. <laughs> yes. You know, this, and this, this one I saw, in a, 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 I think a Nigerian lady was saying, why side chicks thrive yes it's because they're saying that when the side chick the man comes home after a long day of stress she knows the buttons to press she knows how to relate to this man yes. the moment the man walks in the house in the door she's already removed his coat mm -hmm. massages the feet mm. and also I fixes something for him very fast and gives this man an ear exactly. to listen. Now, the why this Sandy girl is coming? Therapist. When no. this, this girl is... But now when the, this man <laughs> reaches home, the first thing you're confronted with... Problems. Because you're not Problems! What do you want? I'm not asking for chakula. I'm not asking for chakula. I'm not asking for chakula. This is how problems sound like. You want me to wash your feet? This is how problems sound like. all of us are working. I yes. want me to wash off. The side chick is jobless. You are giving her money for free. Uh -huh. Take, take money. Hey, no, what is the answer? 
Because I'm a Kazi. See you. Yes. You can't even complete the sentence. Continue, please. Continue, please. You can't even complete the sentence. Oh no! Look at this. Continue, please. You're saying something very interesting. Ah ah ah, Doctor C. Ah ah ah. The man even needs a voice. Come on now. Go ahead. See you. Surely, this woman, you go to your house and the wife is like, "You've not done this." You are supposed to do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Surely, what, where is the time for you to say, how was, your, how was you at work today? Mm -hmm. Is everything all right? So men find themselves talking to these other women. Who give them the ear to listen to? That you gave mm -hmm. money. Initially, yes. nah, <laughs> the, one the one that you gave money to be free, so that they can paying. ask those questions. Clearly, yes. man, I, uh, let him complete <laughs> this <laughs> statement. Well, continue. Of my king. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but if I'm being my king, then I'll be your queen. Yes. I Clearly, the you. problems have spoken up louder than you. Have. <laughs> Why just make people all the easy problems? <laughs> because Listen, we have guys. kids. <laughs> we have kids. Yeah. 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 You are telling me the manual. Uh, just go and Google being a good wife. It came with a whole manual. Mm. You wash the children, mm. put them there. I don't know. It's it's there. Yes. Like then, all over the world. Dr. What C, happened? The women changed. You stopped being men. He, here's the thing. Yes. Respectfully, and you wanted no. us to work. No, respectfully, women have become ignorant of their roles as supposed to play in a relationship. No. Them, no, 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 and I will speak. No, I will speak. What happens is this: <laughs> women have become ignorant of the roles they're supposed to play. They become too fond of the roles and the praise that they're supposed to receive. They've forgotten that they, indeed they have a role that they have to play for the relationship to be successful. It's not only the man's role, and even the even the, is not nah, no, 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 no. Even, is not even in between the toes. And the thing is, <laughs> which is supposed, yes, even in between the toes. Only Kababa and, wants that. And the main thing is, yes, and you're supposed to even call him Kababa, call him by the names that he wants because you know that you love that man because you want everything that you can do to make sure that this relationship is successful and you recognize that him stepping out of that house to go and hunt for you is an effort on its own and that needs to respect it as a father's day they get tossed a tie and underwear and so you and so the prize and so and so so not our fault yeah and it's not your fault take all the toilet day we are giving you toilet please accept and in toilet day yes you don't know that First of, all, first, of all, day day. first of all, that is a very bad thing to say about our day. It was supposed to be appreciated. You ever and say no, 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 you see now, you it's see what I mean? The 90 degrees is 90 degrees. And clearly you see the reason why Listen, Sandy guys, is winning. Surely. Sandy is winning. Sandy, Ladies have lost it. Sandy is doing a good no, job. Yes. No, no, no. You Sandy, see what? Sandy's job is. Yes, some of you. Because you know what? <laughs> My king, Omwami Wanje. Yes. When he comes home. He's truly my king. Do you, and you, I'm wa the queen. you wash the feet? You're supposed to provide hot chocolate. Yes. Hot tea. A, a glass of wine. Let's go. Uh, yeah. And clean the back of his back ears. Back his yes. ears. <laughs> That's how life is. Yes. Yes. He gives you a good life. Yeah, I, I live a yes. good life. Do I not look? Yes. And you, you also appease your man. Yes, I do. Because she I have a good life. Now, why are you, exactly. exactly. why are you telling the ladies to not do that? And you're single and you're struggling. Why are you complaining for you to And you're there calling him Kamala. Actually, Wanja, something I've seen. Wanja, something I've seen. Ladies who are in a very good relationship are the worst enemies to any lady who's single. Who is coming there? Very worst enemies. You ladies who are single, the because very worst. You see, know. these you guys are in healthy. Someone the did you say that yesterday? I've never said that. Wanja, you see? Wanja, 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 I'm talking to you, Wanja. I'm not here with these people. Wanja, please talk to us. No, no, no. Please talk to us, Wanja. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, guys. Let's have order. That's what I just said. Let's have order. The order is. The order is. The order is. We keep him coming for more. Keep him on a leash and keep him exhausted. Let him think of you. Wanja, what do you yes, say? Yes, and let him provide. Yeah. Wanja, what do you say? Well, well, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear from Kababa. you. Kababa. <laughs> it seems yes. like then for you to, the title Kababa is not just a title, it's earned mm -hmm. based on what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yes. In that for you to be called Kababa and to qualify, you must, you must meet some prerequisites and most of them are financial. So maybe it's a Kina Kababa to just work hard Yes. Believe in the Lord. <laughs> and learn golf. And learn golf. 
yeah. Because okay. if you're useless, you're not Kababa. <laughs> when you need it, yeah. you can't be broke. It's a good thing for Morio. Many are broke and it's a Morio. I'm a bro. We are saying that uh, let's let Sandy do her job. It, yes. She's doing the Lord's work for yes. us. And we appreciate. Let's move on to the next topic. Dr. C. Dr. C. What is this 22 years this that we're not married? What's going on here? Sundia Nangoja too. You see this, this thing of Kababa yes. fooling this man into thinking. Just because we've lived together for 22 years. <coughs> okay, let me not personalize it. <laughs> yes. A man just learned the hard way to realize that after 22 years, the judge declared that actually you are not married, despite the fact that you are living together. And the background story is that this lady got a job in the U.S. She was going, and this man was, wait a minute, you are supposed to be my wife. When all these 22 years, they did a traditional wedding and did not register the marriage. Mm. And now the judge said, it's not a marriage. Sorry, you are cohabiting. She's free. She was not even your wife. Kababas? Kababas? Let, let, let me say this. <laughs> Anything, being honest, when it comes to come we stay, it's a very scary, big disadvantage for a lot of men, and you can't see it yet. Long term, and I mean it in this way. When, if the roles were reversed in that scenario, when if the lady is the man who was leaving and the lady was seeking retribution, things would have turned a whole different way. Because we are clever. And, and, and the thing is, not because you're clever, it's because you're given the benefit of the doubt when it comes to even law and everything, especially when it comes to the family institution. That's what it is. Forget the cleverness. The main thing is, when it actually comes to also other issues, when it comes to come we stay, a lot of men think of it like, I don't want to formalize because any form of commitment permanent commitment will mean it requires a lot more from me. And hence, the guy, a lot of guys would just say, let's just chill out, let's see where this goes, and, forth, and so on and so forth. But what happens is this. If she, now, you guys get a kid over time, if you guys are staying a long period of time, you guys, of course, exchange bodily fluids, and of course, you guys might reproduce a human being. What happened is, now, this kid, if they choose to now leave, for example, in any situation whatsoever, which is easier to leave a situation that's not formalized. So it's easier for an exit plan. And that can also be detrimental to the man because then what's going to happen to you, you might be held accountable towards the produ product that you've actually produced in this informal yeah. setup that you are in. So the come we stay setup that you actually thought was an escape plan from formality could be your biggest detriment when it comes to her uh, wanting to leave you and yet wanting to hold you accountable for the time that you guys have held it um, when you guys were together. It's easier for her to leave you and actually not hold you accountable. It's very hard for you to leave her and hold her accountable. See, I, I find, and, and Simon, you've captured it very well. I think the, this judgment is one of the judgments which I, I think is not very common because there are three or four types of marriage. This traditional marriage. Ninety percent of Kenyans in the villages do not register that marriage. Traditionally, you take the cows, elders see it. It's a marriage. It's not a come we stay. It's a traditional marriage. And in 1987, when S. M. Mutino and case was presented in High Court of Kenya, the judge pronounced about the body of S. M. Mutino according to the traditional marriage. And he said that, and the, it was very fundamental. Umeda Kagir clan came and claimed that Luos do not have homes in Nairobi. Luos have houses in Nairobi. We have homes in the villages. And Wamboi said that this man never went to the village, never had a house in the village, which is true and had built a magnificent home in Upper Matasia. All this, the argument was, were you married? Yes. How was the marriage? Yes. And all this thing. But there was a man called Josiah Ougo, a villager who came and said that that was his brother and should be buried at home where they are coming, where they came from. John Haminua was Amboy Uteno's lawyer. Kwach was Umira Kagere's lawyer. 
And what did Kwach say? Kwach said that according to Luo traditions, men are buried in their homes. And they're married, but even if you're married, it's where you have been traditionally married. So, in this concept, the judge decided to judge this case with his modern eyes. In modern eyes is the way you look at things that people are in Nairobi, people must register marriages, uh, but that is not the way things work out there. Is this where the point where people say point of order? Yes, you can say. <laughs> What's the point of order? And the point of order is there is a law. It is. There is a law, <coughs> and we are operating within the confines of the law. The law changed in 2011. It and is the true. new law is that all, according to the Kenyan must Constitution, be registered. all marriages must be registered. And I'm Anybody saying, thinking they can operate outside of that and, and not register the marriage, and that's where you're saying, out. The laws can, you can register, yes, mm. but 90%, you see the laws must be operational. But that's the law. We, the law is he an, was not married. The law is an ass, Dr. C. Yes, but so the judge must depend on I the law. I can tell no, you if today is that, yeah. sir, a judge is taken to high court, that thing will be reversed. Actually, I doubt. I I'm must telling you. register yeah. all the marriage. It doesn't work I that way. I must agree with doctor. With, in a way, I agree with our CEO and say that the law is operational and it is contextual. Yes. Take an example of uh, most marriages, where we live and where we come from. Those issues of registration or lack of it Akuna. arise where there are those funny succession cases where someone mm -hmm. is dead and this one is running behind the back of getting the dead certificate and what have you. And uh, when you talk about the issue of marriage, using that example or any other, that same law about you know marriage, marriage act and the matrimonial property act, they start from, it starts by saying that all parties are equal before during and after Enough. dissolution of marriage, we are starting from level zero. But it also appreciates both monetary contributions in that family where you're working and you're providing, but non-monetary contributions like calling you kababa and washing your socks. So what are we saying here? Non-monetary are not recognized these days. I'm just you must you, prove your contribution. Me, I'm talking about matrimonial mm. property act of Kenya in 20, of 2015. Mm. It talks about contribution mm. in marriage, mm. both as monetary and non-monetary. In fact, there is a case that set precedent to the same law, whereby there was an ambassador in Kenya, akapeleko wa Zambia, huko maali kuingi, bibi yake yange fanya kazi, alikuwa naenda tuna ye, watoto na sumo kwa Zambia in abroad. And then when he came to Kenya, alikuwa nata kumgivosu. The wife went to court and she was given around 30% of all the accumulated property. Because she said, how could I have worked if na deal na diplomat mwenye natoka Kenya, naenda West Africa, naenda Asia and what have you. So this issue of marriage, it has never been cast on, on stone. Ata huyo judge, Akisema hizo vitu zote, when you are talking about 22 years, when you are talking about a guy who, so you know, these things are judged based on evidence. Yes, yes. Tumekua uku, tumekua uku, tukona hawa yes, yes. toto, tukona hizi picha, tumewa ifanya hivi, tukona hii property, tulifanya hivi. And then hizo vitu za, even our culture is very serious. Don't think that he, just because there is a law, the law does not recognize culture. In fact, the constitution recognizes culture. The problem with culture is when it's repugnant to the law. To the law yeah. So, if Akina, all of you came to my ceremony, you wore brown clothes, you can even be witnesses and say that. He was married. Me, I'm a law, but that time I went to Katondo, and I saw Kikuyu was wearing yeah. brown clothes, even Wanja was carrying uh, roasted ma ma meat. That is giving evidence to that we had a traditional Kikuyu ceremony as per our law. If I go to Maria's home in Kisi and see uh, bananas and say, I will show that Kisi eat bananas during their ceremony. So the culture and how things were done, even if there are no certificates, highly appreciated, it can be a very strong evidence in the court. Mm -hmm. Only when it's repugnant, that's when you can argue and say, no, how do you do this or that? So that guy deserves some form of justice. Yeah, he deserves. Because he, he can, cannot just be, be left like the that. The law is the law. They were not married, you it, guys. Okay, let me say something. They have been together for 22 no, years. Le let me say something. I'm going to put the human perspective on this. First of all, I don't know what this woman might have gone through in the hands of that man for her to be that inhuman. I, that's what I can say. But also I think it this way. If the man had nothing to lose, that matter would not have gone to court. 
So it means that in this case, both of them, if you look at both sides of the coin, each of them had to have something they're fighting for. But for us to avoid that, even if it's a traditional marriage, and I know traditions have been diluted as we've gone. For years and years and years, traditions were deeper. And now as we, we are growing, in the past you could put someone in the insurance by just confirming that, okay, it's my traditional wife has been married for this. Right now you can't. Yeah. You need a marriage certificate for you to have an insurance for your wife and children. Even NHIF and the new yeah. one, Shafiq or so, whatever. And, yes. and, that, and when that law was passed, you found that a Sharia house was full. Because Listen. people are going for that. Maria. And because of that, these 22 years, I get it. I feel for the man, by the way. 22 years of you thinking that you are loved and <coughs> you're not. That I feel for him. But this woman, Alikwana, it was, there was rain. Now the sun is out. She's gotten out. She's going to bask out. I don't think she should be attacked for that because this marriage was really not legal. If it was legal, then you'll say the judge was wrong. But right now, this woman won by merit of the fact that this, both of them did not make the effort of having that document. So, yeah. uh, you see, it is, it is always important to, and I'm saying this law has to be operationalized. It's uh, already op been operationalized. It is okay, <laughs> but I'm saying that 90% of the Kenyans you're talking about in the villages, in Northeastern, in where? They And that's where they have to They will learn the, the hard way. They will not Nobody learn the hard way. Nobody is going to send them to prison right now because you've not registered your marriage. There's no prison coming. Listen, but when and I just wanted to disa disa disagree with Maria in the fact that at, Yuka, at Ish, uh, Shah and what? You want to tell me all those villages, people who have not registered, registered marriage. And that is the fault of the government. Go there and start registering you, you marriage. You are telling me there. they don't have insurance? Most of, Most them, of don't. them don't have insurance. Most, Most of them don't. Let me tell you, you'll not get NHIF, you'll not get all these things. But you look at it, they have to. They are living in oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> and the tire meets the road, let yes. you find out we should have registered this marriage. This is what the law says. Anyway, and I at the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. about the law. The law. What does the I law say? I will tell say? Kenyans that. Uh, Unless the judge wants to rewrite. If they have insurance, they will tell Kenyans that. The law is not very clear. The law is not everything for you mm -hmm. yeah i would tell you for a fact that uh, there's a day even judges make conflicting this uh, dissident, pronouncement dis dissident so report. it can be there but as uh, what the way one just said is circumstantial mm -hmm. there Evidence are people based. who i know who have not registered their marriage they have insurance they have all these things and they deal in cultural way the way things are they have Do insurance. not be cheated. The other, okay, let me just say something else. Um, um, you know, I see a lot of Kenyans actually not understanding the law around marriage. Yes. Okay? So, right now in Kenya, you can get married in a traditional marriage. Cust and all customary marriages, all mm. customary marriages must be registered. Yes. There is a register for that. In the past, we never used to have. So, when you go to the mar regi marriage, marriage registrar, you ask, do you want traditional? It's traditional, and the traditional one allows you to have many wives. Okay? Now, there is the church, the church wedding, which I choose you. And, and this, this is a marriage of just yeah. you and me, and the ones that are normally happening in church. You sign. It is you excluding all other. Mm -hmm. And once you sign that, you can then not go and say you want to get into a traditional marriage you must dissolve this one first before you go into the other one and then there is also the law under the Qadis, the Qadis law that's the Muslim marriage yeah and then there is the Hindu marriage which is now put under traditional mm -hmm. okay but the Hindus usually they just have one wife that is the confine until even up to recently the government asked all pastors to take any marriage certificates they were holding. So all marriages, if you're in any marriage, right now you may not have a problem, but you must register it. If you've not registered, if you're a woman and you're married, this man you're married to him for, I don't know, you will just be declared a dependent. You will not get the same benefits as the wife is getting. So it's important that our viewers actually know what the law is. That is the law. Yeah. Anything else? Me or two?
just register it. It's not even a hard start. To a ground, come we stay. And the other yeah. thing is that nobody is coming around to walk around like the taxman to arrest you, mm. whatever, no because one. you have not registered. No one. But the day you actually need to prove that you are married, do you know it? Don't wait for that day to arrive. Exactly. Don't wait. But you know what you're going to do? Just wait a second. We'll be back after this break, okay? Be okay. Back. We are enjoying, we are keep it, keeping it real. Hello to Meongea. Mm -hmm. Especially stories of marriage. We have been educated Kababa. by Dr. C, Kababa, mm -hmm. Vitu Nyingi too. And then, if you thought we are done with families, marriages, complexities, hey, here comes another one. Hey, there's a family over there in Moranga mm -hmm. where the daughter has been in jail for three years together with her children. Why? Because it is said that she neglected her children. Now, that's not even the story. The story is, it's her mother who took her to the police and that's how she ended up in jail because of neglecting her children. First and foremost, imagine your own parent taking you to police station in jail. Before we get there, what do you guys think? She has done them a favor. Hey, who has done them a favor? The mom? Yeah. You take your own kid to jail? How do you give birth to uh, children, uh, you neglect them. It's criminal to give birth to children and you neglect them and not look after them. You're going to put more pressure on, on the rest of us. Then in that case, we're all going to say we're not going to look after our children. You have children, you must look after them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be criminal. Not taking them to school, not providing. And, and even, even fathers see it. When they're not providing, they're forced to provide. So it's a good thing that they must be taken to jail. And the other people who need to be taken to jail are these people who are giving birth to children and taking those children to their elderly parents mm. and not supporting those elderly parents. It's a big problem in our society. <laughs> hey, that's cute. I, I, I like even what you said. Yes. Because even a lot of people out here are very careless with their private parts and doing very nonsense things. Because <laughs> you just, it, it, that's, that's something I've said that's very key. And one thing even, I'll go even further is this. There's also a problem when it comes to even parents uh, judging their kids to the morality aspect and not being able to see them for their own child. Because here's what happens. I don't care how much you may punish your kid, whatever. That kid is yours in the resemblance of who you are as a parent, whether you like it or not. Because in this particular story, what happens is this. That mom is primarily why she even refuses anything to do with those kids is, do you know why? Because the child, because the lady actually now dances, she does a little bit of uh, club work and everything here and there. Here's the thing, true thing about even you parents out there. A lot of your own daughters out here, you've sent even to campus and everything. They need money. Where do you think they get this money? So what happens is this, they even these uh, brand ambassadors, uh, things that they do, they go to various clubs, they doing honest work. They go around, they promote a certain brand, they promote a certain thing, and just sit it there. Even in events that happens, they promote a certain product. And now what happens is this, a parent in the village, they hear about that. They're not thinking about that. They, they, they immediately go, my child is in the bar doing what? So immediately they start seeing the child through what? Morality aspect, throughout what? Not necessarily as a human aspect, seeing the child is exercising and actually doing something because of a need. When you as a parent start seeing your child through only morals and your child even knows that, what happens is your child will never see you as a parent. They see you as a problem. They see you as a burden and they see you as someone who incriminates them every single time you look at them. Basically, you'll be talking the same tone as Dr. C. And basically, you say Dr. C can even send her own child to jail as you have heard right here. Is that the truth? <laughs> and that is something she can actually do. We are not going to reach no, that. Uh, that, 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 that is the truth. No, that I is what you just said. Well. I'm You're parenting well. And we are not talking about morality. Yes, we it are is. talking about <clears throat> if the child, if you call the police on your child because your child is being doing things that are really not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. So it is the arresting officer. Is it, is it a crime really to give birth to children and be careless about them? If it is a crime, they need to be arrested. And I think there's more to this story than what she's just told us. I've just told you the details. Yes. I've the details, details. No, no, no. The, the details are that this woman, you know, I saw something on, was it on TikTok or on, was it on Instagram? Mm. There's somebody somewhere enjoying, enjoying themselves. Alafu anakuja kuzalia. 
So you are going to look after. Oh, that's wrong now. You know, when you look at that, so you know, people are just busy there in bars, I don't know what, enjoying themselves. Wanazalia waze, yani wanakuzalia, you're at home, you're in retirement, Yeah. and somebody is busy, they don't know how they're going to look after those children. That one I understand. Now, that's a crime. Mm. It's a crime to have children and not look after them. Mm -hmm. And of you, you're of sound mind, um, you're a productive human being, it's criminal in the laws of Kenya. The same way it's criminal not to have money. Do you know your blind spot? Can I tell you blind spot? Can I tell you blind spot? Yes. No? You neglect the humane aspect and you neglect this because here's what I mean. You forget that indeed this is your child. This is not the this is not the government's child. This is your child. Is and, no, and no 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 and that's what I mean. That's when you say that you can and send your own child to jail and you do it with so much uh because it's against the law, you have a blind spot of the humane aspect and recognizing that indeed this is your child. This is Dr. C's kid. This is Dr. C's kid being sent to jail and it's around your brand. Simon and Dr. C. Oh my God. Okay, okay. No vibes on the universe. No vibes are down. No vibes. Okay. Now let's speak. Okay, now. Hey. Hey. Where? Let's go. Now this is the point. There's always three sides of the story. And the most powerful one is the one that wins. This woman may have been wrong to do that because she has a reason. And this daughter may have been wrong to go through that because she, there is a reason to that. But there's also the truth that the one who is the loudest is not saying. Because let's face it, this is the first fact about it. This girl was in the bar. Is she of age? Yeah. Yeah, she's of age. So the mother was not supposed to be concerned about what work my, do my daughter is doing if she's providing for the children. Mm -hmm. So you don't come and destroy my place of work and then expect me to feed those children. That's one. Two, this girl was arrested for neglecting the children. Mom reported it. The mom reported it. Mm. I don't... Okay, I think it's... She went overboard in including the grandkids. She would have mm. reported the daughter. But on the grandkids that she went overboard because now these are children who are growing up with, they are going to come up with some trauma of, yeah. I was in jail. Why? Because my mother was struggling to provide my grandfather. My mother was not happy. The rival between the two is going to affect the lives of these little children. Uh, for me, I'm thinking about the children. No matter the age, these kids are going to be affected by the, like it's a crossfire for the kids. And that is the human aspect that I'll put into this. And the policeman was who was vertical. arresting. Do you want to tell me everybody was wrong? Let's not forget Including that the there's policeman. corruption. Let's not forget that there's corruption. Mm. And right now, family. can I tell you something? I know of a lady who paid the police to take the daughter and take them to the police because take the money, take them in. Tandika nakuja kutua kesho. Parents actually can do that. And they do. By the time your parents reach there, you are, and that's the point. I'm not the one to judge. And that's the <laughs> point. I'm also not judging, but I'm saying. Do them I, I'm not judging also, but I'm saying the fact that these two were fighting, the crossfire was, it was wrong for the crossfire to get to the children. Mm -hmm. That is where, where the problem is. And also, no matter the age of your life, mm -hmm. no matter the age of your, or whichever you are, respect your parents. Mm -hmm. Just respect your parents. No matter whichever the age you are, whoever you are, just respect your parents. For me, the only mistake I put on this woman is involving the grandkids because I don't know the war between her and the daughter. And I don't expect the daughter to, the crossfire between them, I did not expect it, it, it to go to that level. But what I know is, I'm not even mentioning the police because <laughs> this is Kenya. Mm -hmm. what? Well, yeah. well, 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 for me, I would say that in most of these communities that we come from, there's some level of stigma around women with children, but they're not married. Because in this story, the, the major thing is that this lady is, the lady now, the daughter, is a single mom with children. Okay. And we have even had jokes, Malif Nasemanga, like when, the do when a daughter is a single mom, at a sukuya ceremony, and ambos jui end, yotawosha matumbu, and then the nicely well-married daughters are cutting fruit salad and mm. there's some sort of hierarchy even in the home whereby girls who are not married wanakaanga ni kama awapeka respect. In my view, there's something called Solomonic wisdom. Sometimes it's not even about how you handle things. 
just because sasa ame kosea and you take to the police and you want to make the the sun stop i think that sometimes it requires you to solve the problem uh, in my view that show show me uh, in my understanding based on the facts that we've had it made me realize that wisdom is not necessarily because of age because i don't think that show show was wise to take the children and the daughter to jail if the issue is the daughter wanting to go to a gig in Mombasa or a gig in Karen or a gig in Kisi, mm -hmm. I think if the issue was... Kama Shosho does not understand the word gig. Shosho ana wisdom. Shosho kama mtoto wako nata kuenda kufanya kazi ya kudance ama kuwaki in a club. Kama issue ni kuangalia watoto. Conversation would have been, is there like a house help or a helping hand? of managing the children in the meantime. Are you assuming it did happen? It didn't. Oh, well, me, I'm just talking about it's the true. facts of the case, but there could be you other issues. You're talking about ideal, the fact that it's already not ideal. But they should I feel this show, show, and this is a big problem in Kenya, mm -hmm. of elderly people mm -hmm. who are really suffering because someone has really taken you to school. We've been talking about the 38-year-old. Mm -hmm. You've taken someone to school, you've give them, given them everything you need to give them. And then they bring for you toddlers here, and you're 70 years old. Mm -hmm. You don't know where to start. Do you think that is fair? You know, we are really must. By the time Shosho, by the time Shosho is 70, should have known, at least based on the uh, wisdom of age, is that sometimes things don't end up as you wish. Sometimes, but as maybe a parent, this girl is being mukorofi. Even if there are so many villages in Kenya where they actually show shows, and this is a major problem. You guys, we better fight for old people. We Actually. love the elderly, but the elderly should also no, be wise. People should know that uh, the elderly are going to call the police on you if you don't do that. <laughs> anyway, see you. Dr. C, Dr. C, Dr. C, Dr. C, we've had your point. Please allow other people to speak. I'll allow Wanja to finish her point. Yeah, because you, you are not supposed to be interjecting yeah. every time. So, me, Naza, to Sema, just to finalize, really, Naza, yeah. Sema, wisdom, Miki Kujana Miaka, Nikwangalia. So, we know the status of our prisons. Even so my jealousy at his reform, what one acquire for the best. Sometimes they even come up for the worst. We know what they are deprived, what total maybe a work so much lack of balanced diet. There could be familial issues, stories of my family. At a Uneza Stuka, whose cases are there are so many layers, whom Stana Umeza can hear Ibisha, but Afkiango, a Fanyor or Rasho, a Kaziako to Nukuza. So Susan could project Viloem to talk and I feel. But with the wisdom of age, is that you can do everything possible to learn to talk of Missouri. Like in what I've got age flani. Wafanya venye uko una expect. Na there is nothing you can do. Uta deal tuna wawo vile wako. Siyo? I think uh, there are two important things which we will discuss in this story. One is that the fact that uh, it is wrong to leave your, ki your grand old people with their, with their kids. Yeah. But also it is wrong for older people to always be very judgmental on the younger people. And older people are very judgmental, actually, on the younger people because they expect, especially the daughters, they expect the daughter by 18 to be married to this man who is in church, by 20 to have one kid who goes to this school. These are expectations. Mm -hmm. And these expectations sometimes don't go the way they are supposed to be. Okay. And you can find that in this case, probably, the older lady was not happy because her expectations are not being met by this, the daughter. And she's feeling like it is not going the right way it should go. And there are many issues inside here, the way Wanja said. There must be a lot of layers in this thing. It is not only a thing that the, the girl was going to do club work and neglecting the kids. It can't be that's the issue. That must be the only thing which has just trigger. It's just a trigger, but there are many other underlying issues in this relationship. Probably these guys don't get along from the word go. There are mothers who don't get along with daughters. Sure. There are fathers who do not see eye to eye with their sons. And it's an issue which has grown and grown and grown. So people are just looking at a way to get at each other. And this the older lady probably has found a way to get at the daughter and the kids. The kids are innocent in all this thing. Yes. We should only deal with the mother and the daughter. And I'm, I'm wondering why the police would be told, 
that this woman has neglected the kids and you take plus a kid to the prison. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot we don't know. The kids were also taken inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was There's a lot we don't know. So, is the police, how are you sorting the problem if you're taking plus the kids in? Yeah. Although even, even in Langata right now, there are women who are in jail together with, with kids. kids. Yes. So, Sujui, maybe it's the lower mom to a certain age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ma, maybe walipata that family was so chaotic, wana mtoto ata neglectiwa. She yes, actually, sir. she actually wanted um, to keep the kids because she knew that indeed the mom did not want anything to do with the kids because the perception actually the reason I was speaking of morality was the perception was you see these extra kids that the the, the, the kids that uh, the child got she got them from another a man and then now that, that perspective of now my child is going around and everything and the mom is very I, th astute. I think that's the issue. That's yeah, now that's because the, issue. the other kids are well taken the care issue. of. The one is in. Other outside the country, and the mom even has enough money to even take care. I think the issue that. is that this woman does not see that the daughter as moral. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe she just doesn't want the responsibility. Remember, she just doesn't want the responsibility. Like, you know, we, we just talked about the 38-year-old so man. So what, what responsibility? Of looking after grandchildren. Why well, was the like, kid taken so back to look for them? No. She no. doesn't want to look after the grandchildren. No, but I, I, I doubt whether in this story the woman had taken the, the kids to the mother to look after. The kids were dropped off at the, because she needed a go to a gig in Mombasa. Only yeah. that? Yeah, then she came in. Yeah. Yeah. You I know, the same way someone decides, I don't want to have children. Yeah? Mm. This one decided to have children. I will give you everything there is to give. I'll take you to school. I'll do everything. When you reach of age, it's no longer my responsibility. But here's, here's, there's something and she has the Why right are we judging that? this woman? Let me add on something from your point. Whenever, even something my dad even told me, when my sister gave birth to kids, my dad was very happy. Do you know why? He appreciated and loved those grandkids like they were his own. Mm. He treasures that time with those kids. And what pressure he also gives me is like, I also want to feel this joy when you reproduce even get your own kids. I want to feel this joy. Amen. That now comes from a place of he already loves us, he already treasures us, mm. and he wants to see us reproduce and actually now sees that indeed the next generation is going to flourish. When now your mother does not even like you, you. and even whatever you have produced out in this world, taka taka kumbab, what have you brought to our house? Yeah. That's literally But, 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 but she, she has the right to choose. If she doesn't want to take care of the grandkids, but, she but, has the right to but choose. But how do you want? There are some things, one, there are some things you, know, you and your child, you are tied here by the hip. And therefore, by extension, you are tied here by the hip to your grandchildren. For heaven's sake, that daughter could even die. And but at that time, you could be the only dependent on your This is not today. But That's a I'm, just, issue. I'm just saying it could be a probability of the mother okay. being absent. Okay. Okay. But if I know we are going on, we are almost done, but mm -hmm. I would say that in most of African setups, the first bully of African daughters is their mothers. No, do not blame African oh, oh, mothers like that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. Samantha Wines, now available in all the leading wine stores.